Hi, how you doing? It's Richard Moore from Racing Profits Guides and I just did a quick course walk the other day um, around the round circuit at Nottingham and also the straight six furlong circuit. Uh, if we just have a quick look, um, I'll start the video running. So this is at the top of the six furlong straight. Um, on this video, I'm just going to do the course walk for, this, for the long six furlong straight, um, which is the outer course at Nottingham. You can see that runs straight down, straight all the way down to the stands there. If I just bring in the map, it'll help you understand the characteristics of Nottingham a bit better. This is where we are at the moment, at the top of this straight. Now there's a six furlong start here and a five furlong start. Uh, there's also the two mile two furlong start here. But this is the outer course. You can see here it runs around the outside and this is the stand here so it's the stand side course but it's called the outer course and it's basically used at the start and at the end of the season and this allows them to have a straight six and a straight five furlong course um, and runs around here then there's the inner course here which just has a straight five furlong which starts here and again follows the same sort of route is a slightly bit tighter around either of the bends uh, at either end of the oval um, but that's got a six furlong course. There's no uh, five furlong, sorry. Uh, there's no six furlong on the inner course. There's a one mile start, one mile one, one mile two, and the five furlong. So, and then there's the one mile six start as well. Okay, so that's the two courses that they have at Nottingham. Um, as I say, the outer course tends to be used uh, at the beginning of the of the year. Um, up till the end of June and then they switch to the inner course and then they also use it at the end of the year for the October races. Okay so um, that's really to help you understand the course that we're going to be walking in this video and then in the next video I'll walk the round course so you can get a feel for the characteristics of the round course as well. Okay so let's continue this video. Um, as you can see, it's a very flat course, a very nice wide course as well. And we join the round down here. So I'll just fast forward that. So we're coming up to the five furlong start here. You can see the five furlong pole here. Um, and this is the start of the inner course, the five furlong start for the inner course here. So they both start at the same point, obviously. Um, but you'll see both tracks run simultaneously from here on. So the five furlong start on the inner is, is just there. And the five furlong start on the outer is just here. And then you can see the grandstand ahead. And you can see we join... It's probably half a furlong before we join the round course here. So you've got the round course coming here. Um, and obviously these barriers wouldn't be here. When the inner course is being used, they, they move the bound the barriers um, so that the horses can get straight down the inner. But you're coming up to the four furlong here. That's the round course. You can see the banking, how they've uh, put a real camber on that corner uh, just to help horses round that tight bend. And then they come into the straight and then it's a big wide galloping flat straight all the way down. So past the four. And you'll see the horses uh, in these sorts of races, depending on the going. If you watch some of the other expert videos, you'll hear Freddy Tillichke talk about um, when the going's a bit softer, when there's been rain. They tend to hug the rail uh, down here, but when it's fairly dry, fairly fast going, you'll see them come down the centre of the course because there's like a, a faster strip down the middle here. So again, it does depend on the going at Nottingham very much to where the jockeys like to be. Softer going, they seem to like the rail side to guide them down. Um, so again, lower draws are draws between probably stall one up to stall six or seven uh, are advantageous here. Um, but then when the going's um, fast, good, good to firm, then they'll tend to come down the centre of the track and prefer it there. So again, centre centre stalls are far better. So we're coming up to the three furlong here. And again, you can see it's nice, wide and flat. That's why uh, the younger horses, the two-year-olds and three-year-olds in Maidens, really like Nottingham. 
because they've got plenty of space to learn their trade. Uh, it's not a tight course. Um, they've got lots of room on the course. And here we come down to the two furlong and you can see the dog track on the right here. Uh, that's the Greyhound track just on the right. And then you can see the stand up ahead. It just started raining this day when I was walking the course, but it gives you a good feel for the course characteristics as this um, and what the jockeys look for as they're riding here. As we come past the dog track, you can see we're just approaching the final, the final furlong here. You see it's just started spitting, you can see the rain on the lens slightly. And then you can see the grandstand on the right as you're approaching it, approaching the finish line up ahead, up to the half furlong. And then you hit the finish line. So it's a, a nice, easy, easy track to ride. Um, it's Nottingham. It's a very fair track. Usually the best horse wins is what the jockeys and trainers feel with Nottingham. And also there's plenty of space for the younger horses to learn the trade. So you'll often find that there's some very good quality horses um, from up at Midland and for also from down at Newmarket. Um, there's a lot of good horses travel to Nottingham for their first few races. So look out for those uh, two-year-old and three-year-old maidens. And as I say, just bear in mind on the sprint races on the six furlong and five furlong course, uh, what I was saying there about the, the uh, draw bias, uh, it, does, it really is going dependent. Have a watch of the uh, Freddie Tulichki video and again, Freddie will go into it in a bit more detail there. All right, that's the end of that video. And then in the next video, I'll go around the round circuit. Uh, we'll have a trip around the round um, and just discuss some of the characteristics of that. Okay, thanks a lot for your time. I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.